this one says, if I, ooh, this is a good one. So this is about EIDL funds. So if I pay myself from my EIDL funds, does this go on my P&L as taxable income? So I wanna start out with the Jamie Troll rule guideline. You should not be paying yourself with borrowed money if you can avoid it, okay? So PPP is different because it can get forgiven, but your EIDL is a loan. It is borrowed money that you will be paying interest on. And so if you can avoid paying yourself with loaned money, with money that you have to pay interest on, try to. That said, I get that some of y'all do, you have to, right? You, you're you out of the $600 PUA, it's gone. Some of your guys' businesses have not recovered. So that EIDL is not necessarily meant to keep your business running. It's meant to keep your household and livelihood running, right? To pay yourself. So to touch on this, you do need to be careful with how much you pay yourself from EIDL funds. I know this was not the question, but again, got to, got to, give you a few little pointers first. So what I suggest, if you absolutely have to pay, use EIDL funds to pay yourself as a business owner, look at your Schedule C, your 2019 Schedule C, line 31, use that as a guide. Okay, that number on your 2019 Schedule C, line 31, should be considered your annual salary. And then you're gonna use that number to pay yourself. So if you're paying yourself monthly, you're gonna take 1 12th of that number. If you're paying yourself weekly, you're gonna pay 1 52nd of that number. All right, so that you are taking a reasonable salary from your EIDL because if you ever get looked at or audited or, you know, they dig into that and you're taking, you know, five, six, seven times what you actually were able to take last year, you're going to have some red flags because the rule is, you guys, the EIDL funds cannot be used to pay distributions to the owner unless it's for services rendered within it. Okay, so as a Schedule C business owner, right, any profits you end up with all of your revenue, less all of your expenses, you know, whatever cash is left, that's yours to take as you need, right? So that's your profit and that's yours to take out of the business and use for personal use as you need. So that is a good guideline for your 2019 Schedule C line 31 is a good guideline for how much that salary is, okay? Uh, that said, if you're an S-Corp officer, then you need to use your 2019 W-2 wages as a guide for what to pay yourself using those EIDL funds if you need to, okay? So now let's talk about the accounting of the EIDL loan because the original question is, if you pay yourself with the EIDL funds, does it go on your P&L as taxable income? So let's start when, from the very first time you received the money, okay? And this is any time you get a loan, okay? It can be the EIDL, it's the PPP until it's forgiven. Um, if it's a business loan, a line of credit, a credit card, any of those things. Okay, when you get borrowed money, it goes on. So cash in, that's a debit. So counting 101, every time you enter something, there has to be a debit and a credit that are equal, okay? We're going real, real micro here, okay? Debit, credit. So it has to hit your, it has to hit your balance sheet or it has to hit your accounting in two places. Okay, so when you get cash in, you're debiting cash, which is an asset. So where does the credit go? Okay, it's not income because it's a loan. You credit a liability account. Okay, it's on the balance sheet. If you're Schedule C, a lot of y'all don't keep balance sheets. So that's where you're like, that's why I know you guys want to like make it income. It's not income. You gotta have a balance sheet. Okay, for the same way you track your cash that's in the bank, okay, like that's an asset on your balance sheet. Okay, your loans, money owed to other people, are liabilities on your balance sheet. Okay, so again, I know Schedule C's don't have to keep a balance sheet. doesn't hurt to keep one. All right, so that's when you get the money, okay? And as you spend the money, okay, your money goes out, so that's a credit to cash to that checking account, right? Money in is a debit, cash out is a credit to your checking account. So where does the debit go, right? Because there always has to be a credit and a debit. You're debiting your P&L, your expense, okay? Just as if it was earned cash, okay? It does not matter the accounting for this, does not change whether it's borrowed money, uh, earned money. It's it doesn't matter at that point. Okay, it all comes it comes from your cash and it goes on your P and L. If you're a Schedule C business owner, so that's that's for normal expenses, right? But when you're we already talked about this. When you're a Schedule C business owner, okay, paying yourself, that's not a P and L expense. Okay, you don't get to deduct that. Okay, therefore, where does it go at that point? Right, it's a balance sheet item again. So when the cash goes out, so when you write a check to yourself from the business, when you transfer money from the business, 
to your personal account as a Schedule C business owner. It's called an owner's draw or an owner's distribution. It's an equity account, but that's what you're debiting. Okay, credit the cash out, debit the owner's equity. And at the end of the year, if you look at that owner's draw account, that's how much money you've taken out of the business. Okay, so again, I know a lot of you don't keep balance sheets because you don't have to, but when you have loans, it's, it's imperative because it's the only way you can track that you're tracking the loans correctly. And then as for the EIDL loan, right, that we created when we got the money, that EIDL loan liability, it remains untouched until you start to pay off the loan with the exception of recording any accrued interest. But for the sake of, of you as an owner, you're not going to touch that again. You're not going to touch that liability account until you start making payments. Then when you start making payments, you're crediting cash because the cash goes out, right? So you need the debit. So you're going to debit that loan balance and then any interest that you're um, paying. All right. I know that's that's a lot more than you asked, but it comes back to answer the question. Okay. If you pay yourself with the EIDL funds, does it go on your P&L as taxable income? No. Okay. Paying yourself with the EIDL funds does not create any sort of effect on your on your P&L. No income, no debit or no no expense, nothing over there. It's an equity, uh, I was going to say adjustment. It's an equity entry. It goes to owner's contribution. It does nothing for your P&L.